everybody, this is Sam from Teddy Bear Was, and today I'm going to show you how to recycle or reuse things to make a dog swimmy. So start with an inner tube. Any kind. Mine is actually just perfect for my little doggy here. Teddy! Ah, look, Teddy! <laughs> and, um, yeah, so let's get started. You're going to need the color of the paint that you want to paint it. I'm actually using acrylic paint, you can see here, from Crayola. And I'm using yellow because I want to make it a duck. But you could actually make it whatever you want. And I'm also, I have something under it to prevent any other paint from getting on the table. And I have this fat brush. See? Like that. So, pretty much you're just going to want to, um... Yeah, you're just going to want to paint it. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. So I'm going to set this aside here, and, well, actually, I'm just going to turn this around, because I am going to be now making the head. So you can see, I'm just going to use it here, like it. So the head will also be yellow. I'm just going to do the head while I'm waiting for the um, swimmy part, the body-ish part, to dry. So we're going to just take anything that is small, and is not too small, because you can see if you... Actually, you could see. Actually, no, you can. Oh, yeah, you can. So you can see that this is actually like a really good size. If anything, I'll find a bigger one, but I'm just going to use this for now. So you're basically just going to start playing with it. Now, the reason it's all chewed up is because of my dog had bit it, like, had bit it, had bitten it everywhere. And now he's biting another bell. Huh. So we let it dry for about, what, like an hour or two, and, oh, I'm sorry, that's like really dark. Let's turn on the lights. Uh, okay, so there. So we let this dry for about an hour or two, and it's actually very decent looking. I thought it would look worse, like it would start peeling off. It might start peeling off in um, a couple of weeks, but if you have like enough coats, then it'll be good. So I'm just going to go and do the back or here's some things so yeah I'm gonna do the back and then we're gonna start with the head okay so I'm sorry oops like Okay, so I'm sorry to say, but, um, wow, look at my shirt. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but I cannot find a big enough, um, head for this. Because you can see, it's kind of small. I don't want it to look small. So all I'm going to do is take this. You can see, it's just, um, a roll. This is actually from, um... A, what is it? A paper towel roll. Oh, I love, what is this? It's so weird. Alright, sorry. So, um, <laughs> off track. So, I'm going to actually cut it. I'm just taking this stuff out. I'm going to show you how to cut it to make a beak. I'm just going to use this. Alright. So, if you don't have a head, which, yes, I know, I do not. You just need to use a roll because that's the easiest to me, that is the easiest. And um, if you have anything else you could you want to use it with, then go right ahead. But this is what I have, and I want to try to um, reuse as much as I can, right? So I'm going to go and get some scissors, and let's get ready to cut. So you could see I'm going to be using the one that has this line more far away because I don't want that interrupting it, even though we're painting it. So, I'm going to be cutting, like, right about here. So, you probably see that it looks way bigger. That is because I wanted a more 
um, a, like a bigger beak. I didn't want it so small because it's going to look weird on this thing. It's like a gigantic ring but a small, small beak. So I got a bigger one, but it's more flexible, which is why I don't like it. Because you know your dogs, so like they run around. But this is more for like, um, sorry. The dog is playing with all this stuff. What are you doing? So, I, you know, like this is more for just taking photos, not for him to be going to the beach looking cute. Unless you have like a comfortable enough one, you could put like cotton inside there so it doesn't hurt them. But when I put it on my dog to first see if it was actually um, fitting him, he didn't really move around much. He actually moved, but not much. So that's pretty much what it is. It's just for mostly for photos. But if you'd like, you could stress him up. All right, so sorry with a lot of talking. Okay, so you have a good um, size. So I'm going to just cut it right here. And don't worry about any, like, um lines on it because yes you know that we are painting it unless it's already like orange or the color you want which I want to paint it so doesn't that does not rely to me so you're not going to just like cut it like that because then when you cut it on the other side it's just going to look weird right so it's just weird so what you want to do actually unless you want to like that but yeah I'm going to just um you're just going to cut it both of them down, one here, and then one there. If you want, you could cut it more up close. I want to do that. And now you just need to fit it. You can see it is just adorable. Oh my god. Put it on here. We're going to hot glue it onto there. If you don't want to hot glue it, that's fine with me. You do any other method. But hot gluing is, to me, the best I keep putting my hands on it and getting it dirty. But um, hot, gluing, hot gluing to me is the best because it is less likely to fall off. So I'm going to paint this and yeah, then we're going to start putting it on. Sorry. I have made the beak, as you can see here. It came out actually very well. And hopefully it will dry better because right now it is not that dry. But um, as it's drying, I am going to be making like the eyes and things like that so you're gonna f try to find out where you want it to be now you don't want this part hurting your dog so I would recommend when you're putting it on right to have it on the bottom unless you want it on the top but I'm gonna have it on the bottom so that means right here is gonna be where I am having my um beak and here is a bad beak you can use it as a crown it's really cute and if you want, you can make a little frog with the crown. That would be really cute, actually. So the next time I get one of these, I'm going to make a frog. And if you want, put in the comments that you want me to show you a tutorial on it. And I'll make it for you guys. So I have this little messed up, defected one. And I'm just going to put it here to see where I'm going to use it to see where I'm going to put the eyes. So right here is good. And I'm going to get a watch. A crayon. No, I'm just gonna stick right here. Put my finger there, and now I'm gonna just show you how I make my black. I could actually see it right there. How I make, how I'm gonna do the eyes. So I'm gonna take this black. I'm actually gonna use it from the lid. You can see it's like very full, cause you don't usually use black. No, my sister does not. Okay, so where to go? Oh, okay, we're here. So let's see, right here, right? So it's going to be one here and one here. So we'll take this. You don't want too much. Just want just enough. And there, I'm just going to make those weird eyes just for now so I can see what it is. And now I'm just going to perfect them. I'm going to be using a more thinner and extremely thinner and smaller, um, what do you call that, brush. You can see it. Focus. Focus on this. Yeah, there. It's very small in real life. Can't see that. Alright, so let's do this thing.
Now let's wait for it to dry. While you're waiting for it to dry, I recommend that you start cleaning up because after that is the last, well, kind of second to last step. And, um, yeah, I'm going to, uh, well, while everything else is finishing up drying, I'm going to probably put some, like, designs everywhere to make it look cuter. Okay, so I made a lighter color. It's actually looking more like a beige, but I'm going to add yellow to it. And, um, this is for the wings because if I have it just regular yellow, you won't really see it that much. So, that's going to be for wings. And then I want to have, I want to just put some, yeah, designs like I said before. So, you could see that I have done the wings. So I used that beige color. I actually didn't add much yellow because I actually like the way it came out. So I used that and then I used white, a little bit of white, just to make it look more feathery. And now it's time for the beak. This is really cute. I'm so excited. Okay, so right now I'm going to put it on. And I hot glued it. Sorry I didn't show you how I was hot gluing it. But um, you just have to hot glue the edges and... Put it on. So I'm putting it on very carefully because it is curved. The um this the inner tube is actually curved, so it won't stick well. But I'm just pressing it down, letting it do what it wants. And if you want, you could actually make a curve. Actually, that is what I'm going to do. I will make a curve, and you could see that it just comes off very easily unless you let it sit there forever so yeah I'm gonna make a curve basically you're just gonna make a little curvy thingy so start out with a tiny little bit right so we started with a tiny bit, and then you just want to keep going until you get your perfect shape. So I'm just going to do that, and I'll show you guys what the shape of mine is going to be. Okay, so it seems like this is it, and you're going to see it starts getting flimsy if it is not dry, but it will actually um, dry up and become more stiff, especially since the paint is on there. Okay, so I'm going to put it on. So, just like I said before, I'll just show you now see hopefully this does not fall okay there so I'm just gonna start pushing it oh no oh no I'm gonna burn this off okay I'm sorry if you can't see it Alright, uh, there. We did it. Yay. Alright, so now let's stick it on. And just like that. Yay! Did it. Perfect. So now I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so here is the finished product. I will put it on the floor. Well, I have to do that. All that work. Okay. And it is extremely cute. Oh my god, I can smell the hot glue gun. Alright, so there it is. It's so cute. And now I'm going to put it on my pup. Teddy. Teddy, look. He looks extremely adorable in his little swimmy suity thingy. This is what it looks like. Stay there. It's actually upside down. <laughs> Whatever. Same thing. So oh, it's so cute. Haley wants to play the now he is ready to go in the water. Come here. <laughs> this is like over there. Okay. So I have made the beak. 
can see here. Wow.